everyone, welcome to Lindark Does Life. In this week's episode, we're going to be going on a catamaran cruise in the Caribbean Sea in Barbados. My name is Linda Huang, and I'm a Canadian blogger and now video blogger sharing about my life. Tune in each week as I do something. <laughs> I'll try things you might want to try, visit places you might want to visit, and eat food you might want to eat. I hope you join me as I do life. A trip to Barbados must include some time in and on the ocean. Beach days are a given, but we wanted to head out onto the Caribbean Sea via catamaran during our visit to the island in December. There's a few different catamaran cruise options and operators you can choose from. Really, they're all highly rated, and the only differences are whether they're shorter or longer days, bigger or smaller boats, and include food. For our catamaran trip, we booked a five-hour experience with El Tigre Catamaran Cruises. They pick you up and drop you off at your hotel. You get unlimited drinks on the boat, and the boat makes three stops. First, to swim with turtles. <laughs> Did you know Barbados is home to two of the world's rarest sea creatures, hawksbill and leatherback turtles? The catamaran cruises can't guarantee you'll find turtles, but the chances are pretty high as they follow a specific routine. Annie? No. We ended up seeing two under the water and one above. Hey. <laughs> it's so cute. We didn't have a waterproof camera, so can't show you under the water, but that's something I recommend you bring. The second stop is to check out shipwrecks under the sea. We saw two shipwrecks, the Berwyn and the Bajan Queen. The Berwyn was a tugboat that sunk in 1919 and the Bajan Queen was actually converted into a party boat before it sank in 2002. Those are just two of many shipwrecks in the Carlisle Bay area of Barbados. You also get to feed fish. And our final stop before we headed back to the dock was lunch overlooking some of the celebrity mansions of Barbados. You also had the option to take a swim here too, and some other passengers rode on jet skis. That's an extra cost. With sun shining and drinks flowing, this was such a great day. Service was awesome, staff was always popping in and out of the cabin to swap out your drinks, and the food was really good. We had fish, chicken, and a popular Bayesian side dish of macaroni pie. Ultimate alfresco dining on the boat. The catamaran itself was nice. It wasn't too big and wasn't too small. We definitely got our tan on, but if you want some shielding from the sun, you can sit in the cabin too, and there's always an area of the boat that's shaded. Just being out on the water felt amazing. Ocean stuff always makes me feel so tiny, and really we are. It's just so expansive. The water goes on forever, look at this. There's some nice self-reflecting that can happen on the water, in between the Instagrammable photo shoots, of course. There's so many things to do in beautiful Barbados like this catamaran day. Bring sunscreen, a hat, a bathing suit, and get ready to have an awesome time on the water. I hope you watch my other Barbados travel videos and blog posts to help plan your visit to this awesome island and consider doing a catamaran trip during your stay. We think it's a convenient and easy way to experience a lot of the ocean in a safe way. Thanks for watching! The sun was so bright here, I didn't even notice my thumb was in the shot. <laughs> Still looks good. Yeah.